For fall sports, the headline of each of their narratives has been about making their big return after a two-year hiatus. And for UMD Volleyball, their storyline is no different. Today marks day two of preseason practice for the Bulldogs in two years. Head coach Jim Booz and his squad find themselves sitting at second in the NSIC preseason rankings and arguably the most competitive Division II volleyball conference in the country. Fifth-year senior and 2019 kill leader Kate Berg returns after a 10-month recovery due to a soldier injury. Berg says she is so excited to have one final season with the opportunity to perform at 100%. The veteran has always had a leadership role since earning a starting spot as a freshman, but with a fresh, fresh soldier, it is also bringing a fresh perspective. I think that role has just changed over the course of the last few years, and especially through COVID, um, it definitely has made me need to vocalize a lot more with our underclassmen because we're going to have eight players who have never seen a match day. So I think the leadership responsibilities have just changed, but it's been fun to go through the course of all of them over the years. Heading into his 19th season as the winningest coach in UMD volleyball program history, Booz expressed his gratitude and the importance of Berg's leadership with their young crew. He is ready to continue leading the pack back to the top no matter how young or windy the learning curve is. Coach says the expectation in Romano Gym remains the same. Just excited to learn and listen and give effort and so that's what really excites me about this group, the potential that it has. I think it's going to take some time to really train, learn and grow. So the team that we see that starts early in September is not going to be the team we see uh, later on in November as the season progresses. The Bulldogs have chosen to keep preseason competition local due to the COVID unknowns. Booz also adds that they have adopted the mentality of starting zero and zero and understands that it will be a battle as they will need to earn every opportunity in order to win the NSIC as well as a chance to be back in the NCAA playoffs. Their road in the NSIC opens up at home against Wayne State on Friday, September 17th.